Hello guys, welcome back. Now we are going to see uh, some of the advanced concepts uh, while creating the Docker container. So what is the command to run the Docker container guys? Docker run and then hyphen it d it will run the docker container in a detached manner and if you want to assign a name to this win container one so this is the name and then uh, the image name also we need to provide mcr dot microsoft dot and then the tag name is ldsc 2019 so apart from this we can assign a host name to the docker container by using hyphen h flag so with this flag we can able to uh, assign the host name uh, to the docker container windows docker container and let's run this container so it will try to run the container in a detached manner and uh, how to connect how to check the container is running or not docker ps so this is the container it's running so let's try to connect to the container using this command docker exec hyphen it and the container name and then powershell and try to remember the host name guys what we have specified windows docker container just we're just entering into the docker container All right, so we are connected to the Docker container. Just check the host name. Host name. There you go. So whatever the host name that you have assigned while running the Docker container, here you can see Windows Docker container and Control P Q to come out from the Docker container. Docker PS. And also try to remember, guys. So once the Docker container is created, there is no way to modify the running container. The only the approach is. Uh, you have to drop, uh, maybe stop the container and delete the container. You need to run the container one more time with the modified commands. There is no way to modify the running containers, right? So let's try to uh, launch one more container. We'll try to utilize the same container, sorry, same command to run the container. I will assign a name to this container as win underscore container underscore two. And let's try with the same name. I have just executed the same command to uh, run the container and we got an error. The error is the container name win container one is already in use by container. So this means we cannot run multiple containers with the same name. So either we need to change the name of the container or else we need to delete the existing one and then we need to recreate, okay? Windows container two. But we can assign the same host name to those two containers, all right? So Docker PS, you can check the two containers are up and running. And let's go through the output of the Docker PS. So with this Docker PS output, it's printing some of the information. So the container ID, when you run the container docker run command, it will try to run the, create the container. And uh, uh, here it is representing the shortcut information of the Docker container. Here you can see the full lengthy name of the Docker uh, container and from which image the container is running. And what is the command inside the Docker that is running when it is created? And what is the status of it? Is there any ports that are mapped to the host operating system and the container name? Right? Okay, so we can launch the containers uh, by uh, restricting the CPU usage and memory usage as well. Okay, so for these two containers, we didn't provide any limitations, we didn't restrict anything. So uh, if you want to restrict your container, to utilize only specific resources of your host operating system, then you can uh, use this command. So the same command I want to utilize. And uh, with this, 
the same command i will try to launch the third container and i'll change the name host name to 3 and apart from this if you want to restrict the cpu utilization we can use hyphen hyphen cpu hyphen share is equal to 256 millicores and then if you want to restrict the memory utilization you can use hyphen hyphen memory is equal to 2049 mb so this values you have to uh, get based on your requirements so based on the uh, utilization of the docker container and let's run this there you go the container id it is printed if you can check docker ps command it will try to show you the three containers okay so if you want to see the metadata of the docker container any docker container you can utilize this command docker uh, inspect and then uh, the container id this will give you the metadata of your docker container so that means uh, what is the ip address of the docker container and uh, you can see from which image it's got triggered and the id of it is when it is created and what program it is running inside the docker container and uh, some information uh, the metadata which is related to the docker container here you can see with this command and right how many cpu shares how much memory and let's try to inspect the windows container 3 so this is also this will also give you the information in the format of json let's try to get what is the host name of it here you can see right so the container 3 we are just created by putting some restrictions when it comes to the cpu and when it comes to the memory so that information you can see over here so the cpu shares are uh, just provided only 256 millicore and uh, memory is just restricted to 2 gb so that information you can see over here so this is how you can utilize this docker inspect command and you can get the metadata uh, uh, which is related to the docker container and also there are some important commands are there uh, docker uh, system df so it will give you the overall information of your docker engine how many images we have currently one image currently one is active the size of that image and how many containers are there three containers so three are actively running and the sizes of them and local volumes and build, build catchy there are no local volumes that we have created yet that we haven't created yet and uh, if you want to see the overall information you can see with hyphen v option web boss mode so it will give you the detailed information of each component so images section over here and then container section over here and the local volume section here and then build catchy and with this command output you can uh, understand the image section is this one and with this image how many containers are running three containers are running and uh, at the container section you can see this is the container id and from which image it is running and how many local volumes it is having what is the size of it and uh, when it is created what is the status of it what is the name of it so every information here you can see And also docker stats command is there this particular command will give you the statistics of your uh, docker uh, containers and what is the container id and uh, name of the container so how much cpu percentage it is utilizing and what is the memory of it and what is the network utilization and uh, io utilization block io utilization so this particular command will uh, try to uh, refresh every time and it will give you the live statistics of your docker containers all right 
So, and finally, if you want to stop all the containers at a time, so before stopping that, so there, there one command is there docker ps hyphen n one. This particular command will uh, display the output like uh, uh, what is the latest, what is the recent uh, container that are created in the system. So here I'm representing the number and one. So what is the latest one? And if you want to see the latest two, last two, recent two, so you can execute this output, you can get this information. And all right, so now how, if you want to delete all the containers uh, using a single command, you know the, how to delete the uh, containers, right? First, we need to stop the containers and then only we can uh, able to uh, remove the containers. So to stop the container, so we need to use the stop con uh, command. So if you want to uh, perform a single command to stop all the containers, you can utilize this option. Docker ps hyphen aq. So what we are doing is uh, we are executing a docker stop command and uh, again is this docker ps hyphen qa. First, this particular command will execute and it will print the container IDs and those container IDs will be the uh, input for this actually, for this command. Let's execute this. It will try to stop all the con containers at a time. It's taking a little bit time. So there you can see three containers it is stopped. And if you want to delete all the containers at a time, you can use the same command, but instead of stop, you can use the RM to delete all the containers. There you go. So Docker PS and Docker PS hyphen A, nothing is there, only the image is there. Docker image, only one image we have downloaded yet. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.